Union Berlin's Max Kruser was the match winner in Monday's fixture in Hoffenheim, scoring his 15th Bundesliga penalty in a row and creating the other two. At home at the Alte First Array, they were facing newly promoted Armenia Bielefeld, who had lost their last four top flight games. It had been 11 years since Armenia had played in the Bundesliga. There was only three minutes on the clock when home team Union scored their first of match day seven. Japan international Keita Endo finishing off a fabulous pass from Geraldo Becker. He was onside, and it was Endo's first ever Bundesliga goal. Unfortunately for him, though, he had to come off injured early on in the game. Bielefeld were no match for Union Berlin, and just 10 minutes later, they doubled their tally. Max Kruse, the man creating and finding space, and Robert Endrich finishing the move to score his second of the campaign. Never before had Union been 2-0 up in such a short time, and after promotion themselves last season, they had learned a lot. But with Kruser, they are now clinical. Two minutes into added first half time, and it was 3-0, courtesy of Geraldo Becker. His maiden Bundesliga goal, and now the tenth different Union goal scorer already after seven match days. A comfortable lead at the break was even more cosy six minutes into the second period. Amos Pieper was the man who fouled substitute Akaki Gogia inside the area, and the chance was given to Max Kruser. An opportunity to score his 16th penalty spot kick in a row. Max Kruser's third goal of the campaign saw him draw level with Hans Joachim Abel, who also managed to score 16 goals on the bounce from penalties. Union were not finished yet, though, and with a minute to play, Gogia supplied Cedric Teuschert with a sublime pass to score his second in as many games. A gorgeous delivery from Gogia. Former Union coach Uwe Neuhaus well beaten. The final result, 5-0.